How's it going, you guys? AZ Plyo 21 here in Football Manager 23 with St. Louis City Soccer Club, the expansion team in the MLS that is due to start play in 2023. Uh, so a little bit of a different atmosphere going on with St. Louis City. The reason for that being they are an expansion team. So basically what I had to do is I had to simulate an entire season to get to where we are now, which is right. The MLS season has concluded. Um, we now have to do the expansion draft, the waiver drafts, the re-entry drafts. A lot of good stuff that goes on in the MLS that happens nowhere else. I am pretty familiar uh, with dealing with the MLS, um, so I kind of know how it goes. I have had a year to get the squad that I already have kind of gelling together. Um, so we have St. Louis Soccer Club. Without you know giving away too much, we've gotten the cohesion up a little bit. That's probably going to go down just because we're going to have to draft some players. Atmosphere is average. Leadership supports average. If we go to the, the club vision, we've been asked to spend the original transfer budget. I haven't really been able to. There's been nobody that I really can sign um, in order to spend that transfer budget. My original thought was, you know, players that are American outside of the MLS. Nobody really wants to come um, who is America and outside. So club not based in the United States. If I go to nationality is American. There are a couple of guys, actually. Now that I take another look, George Bello. Huh. I would not, not James Sands, Alasunde, Mix Discarude. Uh, getting up there in age a little bit. Um, he's on contract for quite a while. Nobody else, really, that I would want. Terrence Boyd would be good, I guess. Uh, getting up there in age, not up to snuff for me, I don't think. He's with Kowser Slotten, who's in Bundesliga 2, so he's more than likely starting for them. Uh, George Bello, though, I would really like to get this guy. Former player for Atlanta United. Not sure how excited he would be coming back, especially after being, you know, in the... Eh, second Bundesliga, you know, come over here, be basically a star for us. It would be a little interesting. We're very keen on signing him. They're going to want a bit of money, 13 and a half a week. I'd be okay with that. So let's see in this first episode if we can get ourselves a pretty good star signing in George Bello, a young American uh, who, you know, would definitely eat up some of our transfer budget, but we're not overly concerned about it necessarily. That doesn't mean that we necessarily want to spend all of that right here. Let's see. Uh, we want to eliminate eliminate all of these. All right. Um, is that a buyback price? Of $30 million if they want him? And they do not like that at all. Um... Let's go for 10. Drop this down to 22, see what they say. So we'll have to wait on that. Let me show you the squad that I have already arranged. I have not made too many signings. 
Uh, only one signing that's really of note, I guess you would say. This is our squad. The majority of these guys were already on the team. I only made a really a couple really key signings. Um, so we have goalkeeper Roman Berkey, Swiss international. Looks pretty good. He will be our starting keeper. Uh, Ghanaian right back Joshua Yarrow might get cut before the end of the year. Does not look to be too good. To Joe Kim Nelson, Swedish international, star center back. Also got Edward Eduard Loven, another center back, making his way over from Hertha Berlin. He was on the team to begin with. Dilly Duca, backup midfielder, American. He can play basically anywhere as well. Midfield, wings, which is why I signed him. Uh, Thomas Ostrak, Czech under 21 international. He's 22 now, so never, never mind. Uh, has a little bit of pace about him. Might offer something for us. He's definitely going to be in our starting lineup to begin next season. Giovanni Dos Santos. He's injured for a couple more weeks. Um, you know, Mexican legend. He's still got some pretty good technical abilities about him. The physical attributes are not there anymore. So I'm thinking I might actually play him as a striker. Um, you know, in an advanced forward role, the, the pace is going to be a little bit of an issue. But he could still have something to offer. Only here for two more years, or one year, I should say. One season. Sell a couple of, uh, of jerseys. Could do us a little bit of uh, business here. Isaac Jensen, young Danish player. Uh, capped at under 19 level. Still has a lot of room to grow. Might be in our starting lineup, not to be sure. Uh, Jao Klaus, 25-year-old Brazilian. This guy still has a lot to offer. Former standard Liege player, former Hoffenheim player. He's been around. Brazilian, hopefully he can get the job done for us. He's costing us a pretty penny. Him, Edward Loven, Joachim Nilsson, Roman Berkey, costing us a pretty penny. Uh, Selmir Pedro, this guy's out on loan. Uh, Bosnian International, twice. Not sure if I'm really going to keep him in my plans. Uh, but he would be a left back if he was sticking around. Luis Silva, backup midfielder. He's been growing this year. So doing pretty good for himself. Backup, that's all he is, and he's American. Americans are a big key part of my team just because you only have so many international slots. I'm going to have to cut some of these international players as a result if I end up bringing in more. Uh, Bradford Jameson, former player for the Galaxy. Another backup American. Just brought him in. Add some depth. And then this guy, Franco Fragapane. Uh, he is Argentinian. Formerly played for Minnesota. Only played six games of them before they let him go. I'd imagine because of salary or an international slot or something like that. But Fragapane instantly comes in and is basically our starting left winger. Has a lot of good attributes that I like as far as wingers. Crossing, dribbling, finishing even. The pace is there. I like it. He'll fit into what my system entails of pretty nicely. This is our team right now. Um, we don't have very many players. We have a reserve team, but there's nothing really there to speak of, honestly. Um, yeah, there's nothing there to speak of. We have our academy team. Nothing too big to speak on there. We have a couple things coming up that I want to show you. If we look at events, we have the waiver draft tomorrow. So that is players that are on expiring contracts. We can just bring them in and just keep them and keep them. And offer him a contract. Get them with us. Expansion draft. Everyone's going to have to protect a certain amount of players. They don't want us to select. There will end up being some pretty good players available in this draft. And I am counting on that. What we are really needing. Goalkeeper is fine. A backup goalkeeper. That's not that big of an issue. But we'll more than likely get one. Left back is going to be an issue. Center backs. As far as starting center backs. We're fine. But maybe just a little bit of depth. Right back. So we need a left back and a right back. Is this Joshua Yarrow just not going to cut it? More than likely going to end up cutting him and probably just replacing him with an American backup. Our midfielders, it says Loven can play in midfield. That's cool. Um, more than likely not going to be him. Um, that roaming playmaker role, it says Loven is the best option. So we may actually end up getting another midfielder to kind of replace him. Uh, Giovanni Dos Santos is going to start in the right wing. He's going to be here for, at the very least, one year. Um, over on the left wing, we have our other guy that we just signed, Fragapane. And then Yao Klaus, 
And then another striker, maybe Giovanni Dos Santos might slick in there. Not a hundred percent sure. All right. So we got a couple transfers. Joshua Yarrow for a loan. You know what? How long is that until? His contract will run out. Yeah, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that, actually, because I'm not going to be using him at all. So he can go. Uh, George Bello, still waiting on an answer on that. Hopefully we can end up getting him. If not, it is what it is. Hitting the waiver draft. We're going to see what we can find. I did send my scouts to look through the MLS to see if there's anybody on expiring contracts that is worth looking at. So yeah, everyone's been sent out. 2.8 million in taxes. New sponsorship deals. Love that. Got a new scouting budget. We're going to go ahead and just up that a little bit. Uh, okay. Technological advancers. Our facilities are no longer... Uh, I can request them. Ah, I'm fine. Get more looks in on these American players. Not you. Harry Kitchen, no. Jackson Ewell, yes. Nick Lima, definitely. Okay. Waiver draft happening right now. All right, so right away, I see Jesus Murillo. I have had this guy on my team before. Emerson Hinman. He's been capped before. Young, um, eh, not too young, but American player. Could be a backup. Um, Elliot Panitko. Backup goalkeeper, maybe. Uh, Danny Trejo. Yeah, go and see if you can get a scouting report on there. 28 players. Nothing super crazy. Okay. Ooh. Now, an international slot does not mean super a lot to me. Um, because I like to, you know, center my teams around Americans either way. So I'm good without it. Let's go ahead and view the draft. We are first. Hinman's making a lot of money for someone who would possibly not even start for me. He can play roaming playmaker, though. Not a lot of these other guys that I'm looking at. It might just be Hinman. Got a couple of, uh, of looks this year. For Atlanta as well, Bjorn Janssen is a striker. Didn't have a good season. Probably why they're willing to let him walk. Emerson Hinman. Brian Oviedo, international. Costa Rican international. We're going to go ahead and take Emerson Hinman. Uh, let's view offers for the draft pick, actually. There are none. Okay. Those are the only two. All right. Let's go ahead and take our boy Emerson Hindman. We accidentally just skipped the pick.
Well, now let's see if we can get Inman. Wow, okay. So, a complete fuck up on my part. And now we cannot get Emerson Hinman. What an absolute joke. I did hit pass finish. What an absolute joke I am. Yikes, that one hurts. That one hurts. That one hurts. Okay, they've rejected. Let's just get rid of this. They want, they'll take 11 million for George Bello. All right. There's something done at least. That's fine. Must have at least five internationals, really. I did not know that was a thing. All right, we'll do that. George Bello. Well, there's one of our fullbacks. We'll take that. All right, this is the expansion draft, so we have to take some guys in this. We can't pass. Can't believe I passed. Ridiculous. Ooh. I immediately see Shaq Moore, and I like that. American International. Cavallini. All right. Whew, let's get it. All right, so let's take a look at those strikers. See what we have. I see Giochini. American, I like that. Jossi Zardes, he's making too much money. As much as I would like to have him, possibly. We're the only team in this draft, so we really don't need to worry too much about it. I like Nicholas Giochini. Orlando City really letting him go. First pick, Nicholas Giacchini. Let's take a look at that midfield. Dax McCarty. Ooh, Zalalem. He's not making a lot at all. This guy was a former Arsenal product, I believe. Frankie Amaya.
For a year, I wouldn't mind Dax McCarty. Zalalem, he's making a less money. Hmm. Only played in six games this year. Dax McCarty was a starter for Nashville. He's not making too much, and his contract runs out at the end of next season. Over here, he got Zalalem two years with him. We're going to go ahead and get Zalalem. Take a look at the goalies. Nothing really to speak of, and I don't really want to draft a keeper here. Sabachinsky, Matt Hedges. He's making a lot of money. Nick DePoy. 28. Big boy. Pace is not the greatest. Passing is not the greatest. Chiellini. <laughs> No, thank you. Yeah, we'll take Depoy. Go right back, more than likely. Yeah, because we got our left back. So right back will do us a lot of good. Shaq Moore. Unless I see anybody else that's like significantly cheaper that I wouldn't mind having. Eric Miller, not terrible. But the idea of having a U.S. international on the team gets me a little excited. Yep, we're going to go ahead and take Shaq more. Hmm. A right back. Another striker. Just got our right back. Getting our left back in Bello. Maybe another midfielder. Pato. Jeremy Elobise.
Ethan Finley. Former American International. Andy Nahar still playing for DC United. He is actually pretty good. Cameron Harper. No thanks. Nico Lemoyne, no. Jonathan Lewis, no. Mason Toy. I don't want Jossie Zardes. He'd be way too expensive. Alan Polito making way too much money. Pato is not making a lot of money at all. Maybe we get Dax McCarty too? He can play around, right? He can play right wing if he has to. Feeling like Dax McCarty might be the move, just because I'm not really feeling anything else. Ethan Finley, not looking good enough to be worth about 7000 a year. And I really would want anybody else, and I'd want to get an American. A little too expensive toy. Otto would be cool. Zardes is way too expensive. And Bobuse, maybe? He's pretty expensive as well. We got Shaq Moore. Fania. No real goalies to speak of. Andrew Tarbell. David Bingham. Evan Bush, he's been around for a while. Willie Yarbrough. He's too expensive for a backup, unfortunately. Cody Cropper. I had this guy in my Phoenix Rising save. He was a decent backup. Don't know who I want to take. We're going to take Dax McCarty. Good backup.
Oh, it could be because we've already picked from Nashville. That was Shaq Moore, yep. Huh, okay. Ugh, I don't want to get toys too expensive. Eric Miller? Dom Dwyer. Dom Dwyer, very inexpensive. For backup? Yeah, we'll take Dom Dwyer. And that will complete the expansion draft. Gio Bacchini, Salalem, Depuy, Shaq Moore, and Dom Dwyer are picks in the expansion draft. Let's go to individual training right away. And they are not here. That is okay. We have the re-entry draft also coming up. Ooh. Poland beat Portugal in the semifinal. Netherlands and Poland. Interesting. Netherlands and Qatar made it out. England and Iran. Argentina and Poland. <coughs> Tunisia and France. Wow, okay. Germany, Spain. Croatia, Belgium, Switzerland, Brazil, Portugal, Ghana. Neither Mexico or USA made it out of group stage. Netherlands beat Iran, Argentina beat France, England beat Qatar, Poland beat Tunisia, Germany beat Belgium, Switzerland beat Ghana, Croatia beat Spain, Portugal beat Brazil. Interesting. Netherlands beat Argentina, Germany beat Switzerland, Poland beat England, Portugal beat Croatia. Now we have Poland and Netherlands. I feel like Netherlands takes that one. Oh. For Joshua Yarrow... Yes, please take them. For an international slot, I will gladly accept that offer. And we're about to get George Bello. Find you for the win. Thank you for the follow, my man. Hope you're having a good day. Bello for 11 million. U.S. international. Still very young. Possibly some room to grow. And we've got George Mello. FC Dallas is going to take Joshua Yarrow. We were talking about loaning out anyways. Just because he's not in our plans at all. So we're going to get an international slot in return. That is good until the end of 2023. For the re-entry draft. Remember, so these are guys for an expiring contract. I've had no extension. We would have to extend them. So the contract that we see does not matter because we would have to renegotiate their contract. So it's just a matter of who we would want to bring in, essentially, at that point. There's no point in worrying about their current deal. That's not going to matter. They're offering us an international slot, but no other re-entry daft place. Two years.
Now we're going to reject that. Super Draft does not matter at all. I, I really wish it did, but it does not. There's not really any good players. Just sign the players that you think are going to be good. Okay. Derek Jones. Marco Farfan. Left back. Uh, no, I don't need a keeper. Mikey Ambrose. Left back. Andrew Tarbell. None of these guys particularly interest me. Apart from like Farfan and Derek Jones. He can play most positions in the back. Uh, honestly, not too many improvements in the MLS. It's basically the same as far as the implementation. Um, the only exciting part about it to me is St. Louis City is in the game now. New expansion team. I did uh, an expansion team uh, save on YouTube last year for Phoenix Rising. And the thing is, in MLS, the AI is kind of messed up. They really don't make the correct decisions most of the time. So I hopefully... The AI is better about contract renegotiations and things like that. Because a lot of the time, they'll just let their star players walk. And you can easily pick them up. That's my main concern is hopefully the teams, the logic and re-signing players and actually signing players is a lot better. Because they'll go out and just sign a bunch of international guys. Not really accounting for the international slots that they have. And then end up having to release a bunch of good players because of it. He's homegrown, which is pretty important. So we're going to go ahead and take Farfan. Again, we have to renegotiate with him. So it's not an inst it's not like, oh, it's $4,300. That's his salary now. We will have to renegotiate with him. Kansas City are going to skip, skip, skip. Okay, and there goes Derek Jones. So we are done now with this draft. Nobody else is really opting to take anybody. And that's because all the good options are gone. Alex Bono goes to Charlotte FC. They might have needed a starting goalkeeper. Alrighty. Nobody doing anything. And we are going to pass. We are done with this draft. Alright. All done there. Go ahead and take a look at our current squad right now. Roman Berkey, our starting keeper. Shaq Moore, our starting right back. Uh, Joachim Nilsson. And I'm going to slot into Puy there. Just because Loven, I feel like, might be better served as one of our center midfielders. Especially as that roaming playmaker. I feel like he can do really good there. Um, and he's also injured right now. So we're going to slide into Puy. And then left back is a need. Left back is a need. That we will need to address. Well, no, actually, no. George Bellow is coming in. So that will be George Bellow. Our roaming playmaker, as you can see there. Ostrock can play in that position pretty well. Um, I feel like Loven. Yeah, we'll definitely slot in Loven there. And then we got Zalalem, Ostrock. Luis Silva. He's been with the team for a year already, but I feel like Zalalem just out outdoes him a little bit. Our right, right winger, we got Fragapane. Left winger, Jensen, Dos Santos, Dili Duca, Ostrak. We'll slot in Dos Santos just for right now. Then we got Joe Kloss. And we've got Gio Wachini. Rest of these guys here, good solid depth. Pedro, he is gone on loan. Taking up an international slot though. We already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine international players. 
We are probably going to have to cut somebody or trade somebody. My guess is that it's going to be... Ugh, it might actually be Yao Kloss. Nashville and New York both want him. Yeah. Looking at his stats again. Pedro, definitely. He's probably going to be out. For the money we're paying him, I don't think he's worth it, Jao Kloss. Let's see what we can get for Jao Kloss. This says 2.7 million. Let's see if people bite on five. Stage two, re-entry draft. We're not going to select anybody in that. Getting some offers for Jensen for the loan. Got our boy Farfan. 18 years old. Left winger. Oh, I don't know, because I might want him for depth. This year is probably not going to... Yes, the expansion to draft already did happen. I can show you who we picked up in a second. Chattanooga FC, by the way. It's not a team that he's going to be... It's not a real league that he'll be playing in. We're going to reject that. Sochi coming in at 1.4, 1.4. He's on pretty big wages. And I don't really see value in him, honestly. For that big contract, I don't want to be stuck with this guy for that long. I really don't. In the Russian Premier League. How much did we pay initially for him? Undisclosed. I don't like that. <laughs> Let's see. 4.5. Let's see if anybody bites. A loan offer. No thanks. Well, yes, because 4.5. 5 million. 5 million and you're gone, sir. Uh, Michiland, nope. Okay. I thought it would have shown. Um, transfer history. Okay. All right. So from the expansion draft, we got Nick Depoy, center back, American, three star current ability. Looks okay. He was pretty cheap. Dom Dwyer, backup striker, former international. Good depth. Shaq Moore, current Amer American international. Really good. Uh, got a lot of pace behind him. Good right back, wing back, whatever we decide to do with him. Nicholas Giocchini, current international. Still very young. All around pretty good, but he's still got room to grow. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, Gideon Zalalem, former Arsenal youth product, I want to say. Pretty good all around, except for some areas that aren't super important. Uh, as a midfielder, apart from maybe finishing. Yeah, looking okay. Depth piece, more than likely. Marco Farfan, we took in the re-entry draft. We do have to renegotiate with this guy, although it is saying that he's good until 2023. So, not 100% sure, actually. Bradford Jameson. Wow. That international slot's pretty big deal. 
Second round pick, not so much, but Bradford Jameson is not a big part of my plans. So I'm not opposed to letting him go, especially when he was a free agent when I signed him. I mean, a second round pick is cool. It's not for another three years. The international slot is the main thing. We're going to go ahead and accept that. Beautiful. Say goodbye to Bradford Jameson. Got George Bello coming in. Farfan will slot in for right now at left back. I mean, a backup goalie, that's not going to be that big. He's still clear of UK players because of their wage. I steer clear of really any international players just because there's only so many international slots that we have right now. Okay, it's not going to show me because we're not in the MLS yet. But we only have, I believe we only have nine slots right now. And we currently have more Australian. Gotcha. We currently have more than we needed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have enough to clear these international players that we have. But if I, for instance, wanted to go after and get another international guy who was better than like some Selmir Pedro, for example, I'd have to cut him. He's on loan, so that's not the case, but... That's just a just-in-case kind of thing. So these are all American players. James Sands. And I put base not in USA because if you try to negotiate with a player in America, you cannot do a transfer for them. You have to do a trade. There is no, I will send you $2 million for the contract rights to him. It's not like that. It is a trade. Oscar Ustari. Okay. Um. Striker. It is a lot. Of, it's it's pretty complicated, but if once you get the hang of it, it's honestly pretty easy. Like I said, just because the AI for the American teams is not the greatest. This is an American striker who is not that expensive. Has a little bit of potential behind him as well. Quincy Butler. He more than likely has... Um... Very short, <laughs> very short. Uh, yeah, I don't want any of that. Feels off for that guy, Terrence Boyd. American striker Kevin Hoyos. We've still got some guys that are coming off of the... Uh... Coming off of contracts, Omar Cordoba. This guy, Steven Sabah. Not very good physically at all. Yeah, I should have thought twice about that. 
Ah, uh, Kevin Hoyos. Good backup. Perhaps to replace Jameson, who we just got rid of. I will keep him in mind. Panamania, no thanks. He does not look that good. Ah, it keeps showing me Steven Saba. I do not like his physicals. At all. Yeah, the only guy out of these... Whose contract is expiring in a month that I might want is Kevin Hoyos. These guys are also expiring soon. We got Teal Bumbery in there. He's on quite a bit of contract. Will Bruin, backup option, Tasho Akindele. Dominic Badgy, Bjorn Johnson making way too much money. I wonder what he would want. Trade. Leaving on a free transfer. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, Kamara. Crazy because it doesn't work like that in America where you can just go after a guy who's on an expiring contract. You have to wait for his contract to expire before you can do anything. Hmm. This guy, Donovan Pines. He's definitely not three and a half star ability, but I would not mind bringing him in. Again, just need a backup keeper. Jonathan Bond looks like a good keeper and a starter. He's English. Will Pulisic. See? Because his contract expires uh, in like 13 days, but if I go to try to sign him... There's no option for it. Yeah, Kevin Hoyos. Let's go ahead and go after senior minimum for two years. Sounds good to me. All right, World Cup. Netherlands won the World Cup against Poland. All right, let's see. What have we got going on pretty soon? Nothing really. Dos Santos contract expires. No, it does not. That is next year. Pedro loan ends. Depoy contract expires. Okay. So Depuy does not want to renegotiate with us. At all.
That is lovely. Preseason. Super draft. So we're more than likely going to lose to Pui. Which is not good. Makes me think I might have to take somebody here. Ambrose. Yeah, I'm not not taking anybody. Wow, that is annoying. MLS Super Drafts. Definitely scout the players. Generation Adidas players. These are the guys that you typically want to draft. Um, because they are guaranteed to be pretty good, honestly. Might honestly take a keeper at some point in the draft just to be a backup. Okay, so Depuy. Definitely not going to be back, which means... Probably going to need another midfielder. Ostrock is going to have to slot right in. Oyos, backup striker, going to come in. I've already got quite a bit of those. Do I really need this guy? Answer to that is no. Do not need Kevin Hoyos. Ballistic, I think, is going to be the keeper that we go after unless we get somebody in the draft. Hines might go after. Henry, maybe. Some interesting choices to be made, for sure. Nobody that really fancies me too much. Bunbury. Again, we are an expansion team, so it is going to be pretty tough first season. Who is this, Dale Shilly? Head of Youth Development? Go ahead and do that. Yeah, Depuy. He's not having it. Uh, he's not having it. We're going to have to get him out. 
could help affiliate team. Yeah, he's gone too. Our chief scouts. We're going to let him walk as well. Miguel Berry. I like those physicals. We might have to stick with Yao Klaus. Wow, he lost a lot of money. Okay. Bruno Valdez. I do want Donovan Pines. The Steven Sabah guy. Can't play box to box. Doesn't have any pace, any stamina. That's probably why. Alejandro Bedoya. On a month to month contract.
<sighs> Merry Christmas as it just passed. So Depuy is just leaving. Could have spent that draft pick on someone else. He doesn't want to join. Oh well. Really don't want Pedro. We are approving perfectly fine. Unless club is able to sign a limited number of players with the age 23 level. All right. Go ahead and welcome Bello. Beautiful. Alright. 
sucks that I did not get Hinman. <laughs> I really wanted him. But oh well. We all make mistakes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So... Might just be because they're injured. We're going to have to figure out how to get that salary down. And Bello doesn't even, he contributes to 3.8% of it. Which is insane. It's all good. I am going to do the super draft and I'm going to call it a day. Coaching staff, we have more space for more coaches. Chief Scout and Scout. I'll just take a keeper. Donovan Pines. He's a free agent. <sighs> this is why I don't like the MLS sometimes.
George Bellow is now very happy. I gotta get him out. I gotta get him out of here. Claremont. We straight up can't afford his wage, so he's gone. Can't afford him. Why do we have so many? We initially had so many. Oh. Ooh. Yes. Let's do this. We'll trade him to, <laughs> to a Real Salt Lake. Boom, by Joe Claus. Contract.
Fiorentina. <laughs> Bob Castellanos. You should be able to see St. Louis as an option. Um, yeah, for, in the MLS, you should be able to start with St. Louis. The only thing is you do have to wait that year. Um, whether you go on holiday or whether you just play out the season doing friendly matches, you have to go through a full season before you can do anything, uh, before you join the MLS. So we're going to do the Super Draft, and then we're going to call it quits. <gasps> Ooh, Roberta. I had this guy in my Phoenix Rising save, and he was really, really good. Nigel Roberta.
Okay, I see the Generation Adidas contracts. I mean, he's not terrible, but we have a good starting keeper. Mikhail Kotov. Sam Babst. Bill Smith might be worth taking a look at. Alan Hanane, John Claude Romain. Ooh, yeah, I like Alan Hanane. Generation Adidas contract, too. Yes, we are going to take Alan Hanane with our first overall pick. Beautiful. Bill Smith. There goes Reggie. Brian Tran goalie. Ahmad Mohammed. There goes John Claude Romain. Todd Little, center back. Dennis Alvarado. I'm looking at Mikhail Kotov. He could be good. There goes Kotov. Babst, I like Babst. Oh, Tom Powell gets selected. I'm looking at Sam Babst, and if he can make it to us, I'd I'd like it. Oh, and there he goes. Sam Babst is gone. Andrew Manning. All the Generation Adidas contracts are gone as well, I believe. There goes Manning. Dan Garcia, Luis Garcia, Chris Agnello, Alban Troplini, Francisco Solis, Ricardo Cordon, Irvin Del Angel, maybe? I like the physicals. Actually, I I would not mind Irvin. I would not mind Irvin at all. John Becerra. Luis Felipe Ross. Raul Valverde. And it is our turn. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so all the good goalies are gone. Abraham Butler would be next. And we're not, yeah, we're not going to take anybody there. David Davies, Nico Semos. Majulia. Kirk, Kirk. Ricardo Velasquez. I do like that name, Kirk Kirk. The boy Sam Babst is gone. Irvin Dell and Hell. And he's American, correct? Mm-hmm. We're gonna go ahead and select Irvin Dell and Hell. Let's just skip to our next pick. Kirk Kirk still available? Andrew Gonzalez, defensive midfielder. Determination and Flair. We're going to go for our boy Kirk. Kirk. All right. Let's definitely go ahead and take a goalie here. Chris Pham. And we're done. Done with the draft.
Del and Hell will slot into our team. Kirk, Kirk. Chris Pham is our backup keeper, whether we like it or not. You're given a B minus. This kid's going to start, too. From the get-go. Add to training camp. Add to training camp. Add to training camp and welcome him. Add to training camp and welcome him. Beautifully done. We got George Bello up in the house now. Um, still keeping it the same like that. Praga Payne. Giovanni. You know what? Let's slot in our boy Irvin Dell and Hell. Looks like we've got ourselves a team now. Alan Helene. Would have been nice if we could have kept Dupuy. Uh, because Edward Lovin is going to be gone for quite a while. So Helene, or Hanane, will start. Hanane will start. Max Schneider, our boy is German, Dida Armstrong, an American, 18 years old.
All right. Castellanos is probably going to sign with them. Season starts in March. And we're going to get some friendlies going. And the next time I see you guys will be for our first match of the season. Uh, it is against Austin, I believe. Austin FC. Austin FC. It'll be the first time you guys see me. Appreciate you guys. Uh, whether you watch the stream or whether you watch the on demand on YouTube, I'm AZPlyo21. I will see you guys later. Stay tuned for more St. Louis City.